Hey guys, welcome to our new little paint along section here. Have a read of the tools that you need and let's get going. To try and make time lapses a bit more interesting, I guess, uh, because they're not always the most favouritest things of people to watch on YouTube. Um, but because of the current situation going on around the world, if you don't know, you must be living under a rock. Um, you know, time lapses are quite potentially are the only way forward for the next few weeks in amongst a couple of vlogs and hopefully uh, scroller boxes when they arrive. But yeah, look out for just some random things that might appear every now and then. And um, yeah, maybe count how many you see, comment below. Uh, yeah, let's just keep it interesting for you guys. So the main tones that I'm going to be going through with you if you are using the aqua tints which of course are the spectrum noir if you're not that's absolutely fine uh, you can use any similar color that is water based whether it's markers paints uh, acrylic doesn't matter fill your boots do whatever you fancy but please just make sure if you do have a go I really want to see them so don't forget to tag me at Bonita Doodles on Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, Facebook. I also have a Facebook group, Benita Doodles Art Share. Don't mistake it for one of the other 50,000 billion groups that I have going on there because apparently I'm a group holder and I like to have lots of groups. Benita Doodles Art Share. That is me on Facebook. If you don't have Facebook, I'm also on TikTok and Redbubble and Patreon and I think I'm trying to take over the world. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's happening. Anyway, the colour for the fur tone is Biscuit. We use the peony to add some contrast and depth and interest to the shadows. Purple and orange always go well together, colour and magic. We use the Amethyst, already gone through that. Amethyst and peony, uh, the soft jade, and then we have the sterling silver, which is our greys. And then, of course, we have our black. Now, you're probably going, why on earth is she doing it all completely backwards? Whenever I've done tigers before, I always start with the black first and then go in with the colour of the fur. But when you're working with water-based colours, you have to work from your lights to your darks. You can't work the other way around because you will reactivate them when you go over the top with your water. So... If you're going to do this, by the way, the link to the reference picture is in the description below. How you get the line work down is up to you. You can either do the trace down method, you can uh, use a light box, you can use the grid method, or you can freehand. Fill your boots, doesn't matter. Don't know why I'm saying that today. That's twice. Anyway, let's make it interesting. Blah, 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 blah. They get better, I promise. <laughs> you may hear some random noises throughout the video from now on because, oh, yeah, it's the weekend, it's Sunday, I've got the kids at home. Anyway, we haven't done much learning yet, have we? So, as I say, we've used the biscuit for the flesh, no, skin, no, fur, fur. Get there in the end. For the fur tones. Now, when you are doing this, always work light and then and I don't literally mean light, light colours to dark colours. What I mean by that is, and apologies for any dogs you may hear barking. Yeah. So, um, when I mean light to dark, I mean building up your tones. So, you put a light layer of a colour down. Then the more you build on top of that layer with the same colour, you build the intensity of the colour until you get as much pigment down so i guess the best way to describe it is you start with 20 percent pigment you then increase it to 40 then 50 then 80 then then you go to 100 um, and then there's only so much pigment you can get down before it's entirely finished building up in layers like this is the easiest way to actually uh, create contrast and depth because you can build up the same color and create your own shadows without having to worry I am adding a small amount of art liner ink here because it will not bleed with the water activation because the pupils were so tiny and I wanted them to be nice and clean so I decided to use pen.
I'm using the grey or the sterling silver to help build up any of the shadows within the white fur sections. It's the easiest way to, because the aqua tint pigments are so in your face strong, which is a good thing, don't get me wrong, they are absolutely stunning, but when you want a lighter pigment, then something like the sterling silver is your definitely your, your alternative go-to without trying to having to wash out black. Whereas if you use a standard watercolour pan, because of the pigment and the water activation that it needs, it generally comes out grey anyway. So, but using something like the sterling silver is much easier for you. And uh, that way you can build up the shadows much more gradually than trying to go in with a watered down black. Certainly that's how I found it easier anyway. So make sure that you firstly have all of your fur detail down. And then that way when you come over to do your black you can go down make sure it's also dry because you don't want any bleeding or feathering to happen definitely a good rule to keep is make sure that it's dry um, as I mentioned before I really would love it if you could come and share with me because I know people do do these tutorials but I don't often get to see them so as I say don't forget come you know, hashtag Bonita doodles and uh, you know if you fancy giving this a go and you've not come across this channel before don't forget to hit the subscribe button don't forget to hit the thumbs up button it's all blooming marvelous for the channel and i really really appreciate it and again if you know any friends especially in this time at the moment who may be looking to learn a new skill then this is perfect for them they don't have to have the aqua tip pots you don't have to have the aqua tip pots 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 i don't know pots get your words out Anyway, you can use standard watercolour, as I said, or any water-based medium. Colour pencils, uh, water-based crayons, water-based markers, you name it, you can use it. As long as it's water-based. Why not give it a go with some food colouring? That would be a challenge for you. Give something a go with food colouring, soy sauce, tomato sauce. <laughs> give it a whirl. See what happens, eh? Do something a bit different. Anyway, I'm diverting. So... I'm building up on the cub first because the cub being at the back on the left hand side as I am right handed it is the easiest way to work for me. That way I don't do any smudging, I don't get my hands wet and I don't ruin any artwork going forward which means that I can work much more cleanly. But you can see just from adding a little bit of detail here and there I'm not being super focused on information, I'm just getting some shadowing down, I'm just getting some colour down, I'm blending it out. Um, and for those of you that will be saying to yourself, I can't do this, I can't draw a stick man, there's no way I can do this, I haven't got a clue what I'm doing. This was my second attempt. Don't be fooled into thinking that artists like myself get things right first time, because we don't. I had to do this, this was the second time I gave myself a sterning talk to, sterning talk to? A stern talking to. Get the teeth in and yeah, had to have a word with myself just to get it redone. The same rule applies to the mane as it did with the fur colour. So using the sterling silver you would then start with a lesser percentage of pigment and then you would work your way up. If you are using the aqua tint pot it's worth just using the lid because you can add a bit of water in the lid to uh, water down the pigment so it's not so rich. So, it, or you could just get yourself a paint palette and just, I don't know, put a drop or two in a paint palette just to give you the option to water it down. You don't have to do it, as I've mentioned. You can do it any way you want, but this is just guidance on if you are wanting to learn how to use these for painting. Uh, this particular picture, along with many of my others, have been featured on Create and Craft TV and advertising for these products definitely definitely give it a go have a bit of confidence in yourself no one's going to see it if it goes wrong so it doesn't really matter if it does so just give it a go it started snowing it has started snow sorry randomly finishing actually that's hail it's getting a bit cold out there and a bit dramatic in these times right now it's all very confusing no that's snow that is genuine snow anyway um, I'm just watching the, the hopper fly across the garden. I'm getting distracted. Apologies. So, yes, 
The same with when you do the mane and you do any white areas of the fur, you need to build them up between things like the sterling silver and the soft jade. Just to, the soft jade, you can create contrast by actually using two different colors. You don't necessarily need to be darker, you just have to be creating two different colors. So for example, if you had yellow representing your highlights and red representing your shadows, you would get an instant contrast because of the difference in the colors. So worth a go, bit of uh, alternative info there for you, just to apply it maybe, I don't know. Now I don't know what to say. So we'll try and carry on. I keep having to interrupt my recording. So I sort of start recording, forget what I've said and then none of it makes sense so it probably feels really disjointed to you right now and with all the crazy mess going on in between like i said i wanted this to be something a bit different a bit fun and a bit more engaging i suppose if you've enjoyed this please leave a comment below let me know what your favorite outtake was and uh, if you've enjoyed it whether or not you want to see the same sort of thing going forward with my time lapses i did have quite a lot of fun making it actually so um i might just do it anyway Anywho, back to the tigers. It took me a total of 37 minutes to paint the tiger from beginning to end. I wanted to keep it as a full blown tutorial, but people don't necessarily like them when they're hugely long. And I can't talk constantly for 40 minutes because you'll get bored of listening to me and I'll lose my voice halfway through. So that is why I have sped it up slightly but it may take you longer as a beginner or if you're more advanced it may, it may take you less time but i just wanted you to be aware that this is a fairly quick project if you've got an afternoon to, to waste or you want to learn something new as i mentioned just give it a go you never know how you're going to get to it and don't worry about making a mess like i say you can always start them again you can always redo it uh, learn from what you did wrong from the previous one and just enjoy the process really if you are learning it's just a really really good way of working out what works for you and what doesn't and how your tools also work is probably one of the biggest things to help you move going forward As you get to near the end of your portrait there'll be a lot of tweaking that you go backwards and forwards to do and this is completely and utterly normal quite often i'll do a portrait i'll let it dry and then i think to myself okay that needs to be made stronger the color needs to be made more vibrant there'll be little tweaks here and there that you want to do and that's absolutely fine so just go ahead and do that um, just try and keep your strokes simple if you want to go for hyper realism then that's entirely your option to do but the reason I show you these tutorials is because it's nice to have a bit of freedom and try and be a bit loose with the the strokes and things that you put down but still give the element of it being 3d not necessarily realistic like my standard pencil drawings but giving it the 3d look will also give it the character that you want rather than it looking flat the only way you're going to do that is by adding your contrast so as i say don't be afraid to use other colors here i'm using the i can't actually remember whether it was amethyst or peony but because i wanted to go darker on the biscuit but i couldn't because i'd completely saturated it with color using one of these colors as an alternative is a great way of adding more depth and tone and contrast and shadow without sort of oversaturating your paper and it ending up being too much. I like to have a little bit of fun with my watercolors. I like them to be bleeding out as we come off the page, as we come off the edges, as we come off the edge of the fur, for example, the top of the head. It's it's my bag, it's my cup of tea, I like it. Um, if you don't like that, then that's absolutely fine. You can finish it and uh, get all those details in that you want. But it is worth practicing doing something that's loose and free because if you're like me and you like to do really tight detailed images, having the option to go to something like this is actually quite stress relieving and you can make a mess and not care about it because, you know, we do take art seriously but sometimes we just need to have fun and I think we forget that. When you look at kids' pictures, they are literal with their drawings and their heads are round and you know their mouths are simple and we forget that as adults and we go really deep and intent in our drawings and our paintings and we forget to be free 
and happy with them. So that is your challenge if you decide to go ahead with this is to be as loose and free and as happy as you can be without giving yourself a headache and without trying to aim for perfection. That's not what we're after. Please again do not hesitate to share with me if you do decide to give this a go. I would love to see the outcome. Don't be afraid to tag me and I'm happy to share them on my social media. But for now, have a good morning, have a good afternoon, evening, whichever it may be. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye.